I've learned so many different things, like you learn basic sciences, you learn public health and funding and research, evidence-based, that sort of thing. You learn about psychology, how people develop and how kids develop, because you're going to be seeing kids every day. Um, and then you, the hands-on skills, you learn, which, are, which really is the best part of it, and that's what you're going to be doing every day. And it's really cool to be able to learn how to do all that sort of stuff. That's what convinced it for me, was just seeing what the job was going to be like every day. It was going to be seeing patients that I'd seen maybe 20 times over the year and you built up a relationship with your friends with them now and it was getting people out of pain and it was just all these things that really just seemed amazing to me that I just kind of wanted to do. That's the most enjoyable part of it is sort of seeing yourself develop and progress as you go through and getting good at what you do. Most people I think go in, out to be a general dentist but you do get that exposure to making dentures, braces, oral surgery and the community side of things so there's a lot of different branches you can go into. I myself am interested in going to community so sort of special needs, paediatrics, kids, there is a whole module on evidence-based dentistry so learning how to read through papers, see which papers are good and see which papers aren't worth reading. When you graduate you don't stop learning, you have to keep on going the lectures and you have to keep improving your practice because it changes. By the time you're out 10 years a lot of the stuff you'll have learned is obsolete because there's new materials to use. So you get taught how to deal with that, you get taught how to read the papers that will come out and how to change your practice based on that.